when they came to us, the first thing they wanted to do is they wanted to reimagine the tech stack for the new solution or that the new solution would live on. The goal is to create a tech stack that allowed them to maintain control of the editorial workflow and the journalistic process without being tied down to, to a particular software. Using WordPress allowed Fairfax to maintain ownership of their data without compromising their CMS of choice, provided the flexibility to adapt the software to their individual business needs, and allowed the developers to iterate rapidly. A simplified version of the stack looks something like this. You have WordPress on one side, pushing, and then you have the website on the other side. In between, you have two databases connected by two APIs. We have the content API and then the media API. These were built by Fairfax's internal team and is running on Go. Content that was published in WordPress would then be pushed to the content API or to the media API, depending on the type of content it is, which then gets read by the front end, which is a totally decoupled React application. This allowed them to really maintain control because if they ever wanted to switch out uh, WordPress, if they ever wanted to switch out one of their database, if they ever wanted to switch out the front end, they were able to do so with still maintaining the same structure of their data no matter where they went. As long as the data coming from WordPress was going into the content API uh, structured as it should be, it's going to hit the website perfectly. 